So a lot of people seem to be confused what exactly a modular propellant shell is, which is completely understandable as it is a new, brand new form of technology that was only introduced and officially accepted into an army in 2015. So in this quickie video, I'm going to be breaking down what a modular propellant round is, as well as its new mechanics, comparisons with traditional charged ammunition and its benefits. So let's get to it. So a couple of months after I made my video showcasing the three latest tanks at the time, I mentioned one of them being rumored to use a modular propellant round, to which I said would be a major advancement in armament technology, and a lot of people didn't seem to know what exactly I meant or what exactly a modular propellant round is, as many have commented that many tanks already use a two-step loading mechanism for a shell, such as adding the charge to it. And it's perfectly fine, it's a completely new field with half of the new shells that I know of that exist having their names classified. The tank that I talked about that has this rumored ability is the Polish PT-16 tank with its locally produced and modified DM-63 or DM-11 Rheinmetall shells with the possibility of one of them being a modular propellant. So yes. They are shells, as many have mentioned, that have a charge that's loaded into the shell being the first step, and the actual loading of the shell being the second step, but that's not exactly what a modular concept is. Those shells need their specific amount of charge to be fired, just as a musket rifle needs its gunfire to fire its bullet. Modular propellant shells, however, take that to the next generation, as it requires a combination of internal software and computer calculations, as well as an automatic loader being integrated, or working by the side of the rounds that it auto-loads. This is why the automatic loaders of systems such as the PT-16, PL-01, and T-14 Armada tanks, as well as the two S-35 Koalice SV self-propelled gun autoloaders, are classified to the point of conceptual art not even existing out there, or an artist's rendering, I should say. Internal computers with a battle management network calculates and assesses these multiple factors, some of which being the type of target, the distance to the target, the weather conditions, and the environment. This works together with the ballistic computers, barrel bend detectors, and the mathematical algorithms put into the database based off the modular charges formula and effectiveness or change in projection. The most astonishing part is that all of this is calculated in just milliseconds before the shot is fired. Right before the shot is fired, and since this is still classified, I don't exactly know for sure how it works, but somehow the modular propellant is either fused into the shell, or it is ignited before the firing of the shell, as its ignition and the onboard software systems calculate how much modular propellant to use, which could very well be in a separate autoloader. A fun fact is that very few videos we have of these new systems conducting a live fire are all done with a blank, ignant-like shell. And even with those, it is forbidden for the journalists or whoever is filming to record where the shell lands from position of fire. Modular propellant shells are also said to be much heavier than the standard shells that are used today, including artillery shells that must, that must be charged before loaded. So, although I haven't been keeping up with everybody's secret projects and test results and whatnot, here's the list of the new generation, highly classified modular propellant shells that were shown or mentioned to the public, with some confirmed and others being rumored. With the confirmed being the 2S35 Coalizia SV shells, the M1A2 SEP V3 shell, which is known as the M829A4 modular propellant round, and the unconfirmed but highly possible being the modified DM63 or DM11 Rheinmetall shells made by other companies, and the Vacuum 1 Sabot rounds. So in essence, the gunner, commander, or computer get to decide how far, at what strength, they want to fire their shell, altering their kinetic projection more toward their benefit while a charged shell could only be changed with which type of chemical explosive type you want to use. 
The modular propellant powder-like substance formulas and compositions are also highly classified, not just the shell's characteristics. So it'll be interesting in a few years to see their results and action when it'll be more common knowledge. So I hope this video helped with understanding what the current modular propellant rounds are. Without a doubt, there will be many more systems and rounds that will utilize this technology. If anybody knows of any shells that I have not listed in my list, please feel free to comment about it, and please like and subscribe if you liked this video. One last thing, I just want to thank the followers who have been following this channel closely. I really appreciate it. Thanks to all my subscribers, especially the loyal ones. You know who you are. This is why I continue and will continue to make future videos and content for you guys. I know I went MIA for about a month, but I had a lot of work pile up on me as well as having to replace my computer monitor as I'm more of a t desktop user and only use mobile for commenting. But thanks for still sticking by and expect a lot more content, including translations and quickie videos about news and current events, etc, etc. And if anybody is interested in the translation of the Koalitsia SV documentary, the live leak link is down in the description because the footage that is seen in this video has been copyright blocked by the main company. And thanks for watching.